welcome back to integralcalc.com. We're going to be doing another Taylor polynomial problem today. This one asks us to find the nth degree Taylor polynomial of uh, f of x equals ln or the natural log of x um, about a which they give us as a equals 1 and when n equals 6. So they asked us to find the nth degree Taylor polynomial. They've defined n as 6, so we're going to find the 6th degree Taylor polynomial of the function natural log of x. And then it says simplify the coefficients as much as possible. So the first thing we always want to do with a Taylor polynomial problem is to start constructing the following table. Uh, it's going to be four columns. The first column is k. The second column is fk of x. The third column is f k of a, and the fourth column is f k of a divided by k factorial. So these are um, these are our column headings. They look a little bit more complicated than they actually are, and we can um, move through them rather quickly. So. The first column, k, always starts with 0. We always write 0 to be our first row in our first column, k. And then we proceed to number down this column until we get to whatever n is equal to, in this case, 6. So we proceed 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, like that. So if n had equaled 3, we could have stopped at 3. In this case, we need to go all the way to 6. So that's the first thing we do. Always start with 0, number down until you get to n. Then, for the second column, we always write the original function in the first row. So in this case, ln, or the natural log of x, goes in the first row. Then, uh, each subsequent row, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, we're going to take the derivative of this function, and then again, and then again, and then again, until we get to the bottom. And that's what goes in the second column. So. In our case, the derivative of ln of x is 1 over x, um, which is also equal to x to the negative 1, right? We have a rule um, or a formula, go ahead and write it up here, uh, which says x to the n is equal to 1 over x to the negative n. Um, so and we can actually reverse that. In our case, if we do uh, 1 over x, it's the same thing as x to the negative n. So you can see we have 1 over x. Um, there's a 1 here as an exponent implied, right? This x is x to the 1, but we never write the x because it's implied. So 1 over x is the same thing as x to the negative 1 by this formula up here. Because the x is in the denominator, we can move it to the numerator and just change the sign on the exponent. So that's um, a rule of algebra that's really helpful in this case um, because it's going to make taking the derivatives a lot simpler. So I'm just going to go ahead and write this as x to the negative 1 to just clean this up a little bit. So x to the negative 1. So then as we take subsequent derivatives, um, remember to take the derivative, we just multiply the exponent. Uh, out in front by the coefficient, so we'll get negative x, right? This negative 1 comes out in front here. And then we subtract 1 from the exponent. So negative 1 minus 1 is negative 2. And then we keep going. Uh, negative 2 times the, the coefficient here uh, will end up with a positive 2x to the negative 3 when we subtract 1 from the exponent. Then we'll multiply again, negative 6x to the negative 4 multiply again 24, positive 24, x to the negative 5, multiply again, that would be negative 120, x to the negative 6. So those are all of our derivatives of natural log of x. Um, so we can go ahead and leave those. The third column here, you can see we have fk of a, and we have a defined as 1. So we can actually go ahead and write our 1 in here. This is also an a over here. So we can go ahead and write 1. Basically what this means is uh, 
we have here our function fk. Um, we're just going to plug 1 into each of these functions here and write the answer in this column. So we're just plugging 1 into the function, whatever a is. So if a had been 4, we'd be plugging in 4 to each of these and writing the answer here. So um, in this case, we'll go ahead and plug in 1. Natural log of 1 is 0. Um, that's something that's good to memorize because you need it a lot. Um, and so you can just know it quickly, but you can also put it into your calculator. Uh, natural log of 1 is equal to 0. Then we go ahead and plug 1 into the rest of these. 1 to the negative 1. Uh, and if you're confused about um, the calculations of any of these, you can always do them in your calculator. Um, but 1 to the negative 1 is 1. And then uh, 1 to the negative 2 is 1. But we've got this negative out in front, so that ends up being a negative 1. And then um, all of these, 1 to the negative 3, 4, 5, and 6, are always just going to be 1. So as you can see, we're always just going to end up with this coefficient here. And we're going to get 2, negative 6, 24, and 1, 20. So that's what happens when we plug 1 into each of these functions. And now the last step is to uh, fill out this column, which as you can see, we have this fk of 1 and fk of 1. Uh, that's the same thing. So what we're doing is dividing this column by k factorial, right? Uh, so we're dividing this column by this column factorial. And if you're not familiar with factorial, um, it's really simple. Basically, if you have um, if you have five factorial, um, that's equal to five times four times three times two times one. If you have nine factorial, it's nine times eight times seven times six times five times four three two one. Um, you always go down to one. You start with the the number that you're that you're using, um, and um, and that's what factorial means. So, in zero factorial is one uh, by definition. So. In this case, right, we'll have uh, 0 divided by 1 divided by negative 1 divided by 2 over negative 6 over 24 over and 120 over. And now we just need k factorial. So 0 factorial by definition is 1. 1 factorial would just be 1 times 1, which is 1. 2 factorial would be 2 times 1, which is 2. 3 factorial would be 3 times 2 is 6, times 1 is 6. Uh, 4 factorial, 4 times 3 is 12, times 2 is 24, times 1 is 24. 5 factorial uh, will be 5 times 4 is 20, times 3 is 60, times 2 is 120. Uh, and then 6, um, it's actually just going to be 6 times 120. I don't know if you saw the pattern, right? You have um, 2, 6, 24, 120, right? 5 factorial um, would be the same thing as 6 factorial, except multiply 5 factorial times 6, right? So we can do 120 times 6, which is 600, and 120, so 720, I believe.